At each Olympic Games, there are moments that etch Australian athletes into our country's sporting history. But from the highs of Olympic glory, what happens when it's all over and sporting careers come to an end? For athletes, it can be a difficult adjustment into retirement. For most, it's not just a career change, but a complete lifestyle adjustment. Think about it. Athletes dedicate their lives to their discipline. Everything from training to what they eat, how they sleep and how they recover. Most can't remember who they were or what they did before it. And most of us will never understand the massive sacrifice it takes to compete at an Olympic Games, let alone bring home gold. And when it all comes to an end, research shows the majority of athletes will suffer an identity crisis. There was a lot of negative emotions because a really important part of that identity is gone and also really quite strong support networks. It's not uncommon for elite athletes to notice dramatic physical changes as well. Athletes will go from having daily doses of serotonin from all the exercise. When this suddenly decreases, it plays with the chemistry in the human body, most notably our mood. With the reduced training, their nutrition and intake will also need to adapt, but it can be hard to find a new balance. As a result, disordered eating isn't uncommon. In fact, 16% of athletes were found to experience worrying mental health issues. Things like substance abuse, even homelessness was on the cards for those who haven't prepared for life outside of elite sport. They're not actually earning superannuation when they're not getting paid employment as part of their sports career. So there needs to be some kind of plan in place to make sure they have financial security afterwards. It's hard when it takes so much commitment to compete at an elite level. Psychologists say having a plan from the beginning really helps. But that's the brutal nature of elite sports. There are so many factors outside athletes' control. Things like having to retire due to injury or not qualifying when they'd hoped. Even teammates can be more of a hindrance than a help in preparing for life beyond competition. Sometimes in a team environment, uh, there might be pressures or feelings of expectation from their peers to continue in their sport or meet the next competition deadlines. And that might hold individuals back from having open and kind of productive conversations about their future career plans. But it can't be all bad when you see former Olympians like Kieran Perkins with a successful career in banking or Natalie Cook, who won gold in Sydney 2000. She now heads up development at the Queensland Academy of Sport. But their success, like training, didn't come without hard work. Lauren Burns won a gold medal in Taekwondo at the Sydney 2000 Olympics. She had a plan from the very beginning. I was studying naturopathy. I was really involved in that course. I saw that as my future and something that I really wanted to be involved in. So I think having that study and having something that focused me away from Taekwondo as I was training was, was good for my competition. It was good for my mental clarity coming back in, but then it also was great for my mental health afterwards coming out of retirement. One of our most decorated Olympians, swimmer Ian Thorpe, has been vital in this space since retiring. He not only admitted he suffered crippling depression right throughout his career, away from the pool he's championed several causes, including awareness surrounding athlete mental health. The Australian Institute of Sport also has its own mental health referral network, a group of experts who understand the pressures and complexity of life in and beyond high performance sport. Olympians Jody Henry and Liesl Jones are ambassadors for the program. Those that have role models or have observed teammates progressing through different life stages start to have some earlier thoughts about how they might prepare for transition. Lauren Burns continues to work with athletes, hoping to give them perspective about life in and out of elite sport. It's about understanding where you are on that journey. So, you know, my goals now are to be, you know, strong and fit and healthy and play sport with my kids. And, you know, it's not to win an Olympic gold medal. So I think it's really putting it in perspective and not trying to be that athlete anymore. 